most people hate Mondays, but I always say Hello Sunday. Hello Sunday. Hello Sunday. Well, hello Sunday. If I quit, however, it will last forever. My message is titled, How to Build in 2021. How to Build in 2021. And my main text is going to be from Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 28 and 29. Luke, chapter 14, verses 28 and 29. And my focus will actually be on the verse 28. And this is what it says. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has laid the foundation, he is not able to finish. All who see it begin to mock him or her. Not only the hymns are mocked, the hairs are also mocked sometimes. Jesus spoke this parable in reference to what is required of his disciples. Uh, prior to saying this, he had talked about taking up the cross and following him. And he is teaching that to, for us to follow him, we must uh, count the cost. Uh, it's a full commitment. And that is the main message of this parable of Jesus. And in teaching about how to show commitment to our Christian life, Jesus taught timeless principle that apply to other areas of our lives. So today, for the purposes of the season we are in, I am not going to use this verse to apply to Christian commitment in a general sense, but I'm going to talk about committing to something specific to do in 2021 and we're going to use the principles of Jesus uh, to address that in a year of fruitfulness how should we plan our lives how do we face the next year some people would say well because of how turbulent 2020 has been I'm not even going to make any attempt to plan it's important to plan because it's in only in turbulence that your plan becomes very effective. It's almost like um, a sea pilot who is piloting a ship. When he's piloting a ship, the ship is on turbulent waters. There are storms, there are waves. The pilot of the ship cannot say, oh, because the turbulence of the, the, of the waves, I'm not even going to steer this ship again. It is because of the turbulence that you need to share, steer the ship. So because we live in uncertain times and you cannot predict what each year comes, you have to be purposeful about our lives because that is the only way we deal with the turbulence that comes to us. So I'm going to use this statement of Jesus to give us four steps, four steps for building something great and useful in the year 2021 and when I finish or after I finish speaking I'm going to give each one of us an assignment I'm going to give you two assignments and you're going to do those assignments and they will be marked next year at this time by the end of next year we will see whether your assignment was worked on or you just took the assignment and, and took it to your home. And when you are asked, why haven't you done the assignment? You would say, but the rat chewed my assignment. May that never be your excuse. So let's listen again to what Jesus says. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it? lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him. First step, if we're going to build in 2021, if we're going to live a fruitful life, I must decide what I want to do. Everybody say, I must decide what I want to do. This is where we all start. We start with a decision. You start 
with what you have. You start with what you want. You start with how you want things to end up for you. You have to see the vision. Jesus is talking about a person who is trying to build. And Jesus says you start by deciding what you want to do. So what do you want to do in 2021? For you to be able to do that, you have to imagine how 2021 would look like and the thing that you want, how it would look like. In this parable, Jesus is talking to his disciples and to the crowd around him. And he asked them a very simple question. Which of you? Which of you wanting to build a tower? In other words, this is something that the people he was spoke, speaking to could achieve. Which of you wanting to, dis, uh, to build a tower? If you want to do something unique in 2021, you start by deciding what you want to do. How do you decide what you want to do? You have to imagine how it will look like. And in this parable, it is somebody trying to build a tower. The second thing you do to decide what you want to do is to know why you want to build it. Why do I want to achieve this particular thing in 2021? It must serve a real purpose. The tower that is in this parable is not tower as we imagine it now now when we think of tower you may think of electrical towers or communication pylons or maybe a very very tall huge monument that's what we see as tower but at, in the time of jesus for the people he was talking to when he said tower that's not what he was talking about he was talking about a storehouse so these are farmers and Jesus says, uh, if you want to build a storehouse, a tower to store your products from, uh, from the farm. So every one of them understood it. This was something that was needed. If you are a farmer, you need a storehouse. So in order to determine what you want in 2021, it must be something that is necessary, something you need. You're not doing it to impress people, but it's something that solves a problem for you. Which one of you intending to build a tower? And then he didn't say, which one of you intending to build towers or bridges? But a tower, one thing. One of the most important things for each one of us, for every year, there must be one predominant thing we want to do. I know there are a thousand things you want to do, 10,000 things. Um, if I ask you what's your vision for next year, some of you will write a whole manuscript on what you want to achieve. But I want you to freeze and, and boil down all the things you want to do into one thing. If I have to challenge you for one thing you want to see next year by this time in your life, what will be that one thing? Not 10, not 20, not 3, not 2. One, a tower, a building, a program, an idea, something singular that you want to achieve. What is the most singular, most important thing you want to achieve in 2021? Do you know that? If you don't know it, start thinking about it. Because in four days we'll get into 2021. You don't get to 2021 and start thinking about what you want to build. You think about it before you get there. One thing. What is that tower you want to build? What is that project you want to finish? What is that idea you want to accomplish? What is that mission you want to accomplish? What is that one thing that you want to stand at the last Sunday of 2021 in a time like this and say, Oh, I achieved something in 2021 yes it may have been turbulent yes it was difficult but this one thing this one tower i was able to build what is that one tower you must 
decide what you want to do step number two you must intend to make it happen it's one thing deciding what you want to do another thing having an intention to make it happen Jesus says who which one of you intending you have to intend to make it happen how do we do that we must be intentional about our choices be intentional what does it mean to be intentional it means to be intentional intentional means to be purposeful to do things because that is what you want to do that means whatever we have to do to build that tower we must intend it we must be intentional about it we must be intentional about how we want to use our time you can't just use your time anyhow and i hope that by some divine purposes 2021 will work out well the one who rules the universe says you have to be intentional which one of you intending be intentional about your choices we must be intentional about what we listen to we must be intentional about what we read we must be intentional about who is in our inner circle we must be intentional about where we go to we must be intentional about how we live our lives you're going to have a lot of opportunities to do many things in 2021 but you have to ask yourself do these things help me to build the tower i want to build the way i use my time does it help me to build my tower the people around me that I talk to every time, I have conversation with whose wisdom I live on. Do they help me to build my tower? The things I listen to, the things I read, the music I listen to, the stations I listen to, the sermons I use, listen to, the speeches I listen to, the magazines I read, the online portals that I go to read information, do they help me to build the tower I'm intending to build? If they don't, you have to be more intentional. Don't just go through life hoping that things will happen. You have to be intentional about your choices. And you have to be intense about your actions. To be intense about our actions, that means that we have to be passionate. We have to be emotionally involved in what we are doing. We have to invest emotion. Passion is the fuel that drives everything. It's your petrol. It's your gas. It's your diesel. If you use an electric car, it's your battery. Without it, nothing is driven. So if we're going to be intentional, we have to be intense. Everybody say, I must intend to make it happen. So you ask yourself, what am I intense about? What gets my blood boiling? What makes you sit up and focus on without getting tired? Anything you can do and do for a long time without getting tired, that's your passion. Anything you can do for a long time without feeling tired and feeling bored, that's your passion. For some people, their passion is football. They can watch their football team, whether it's Manchester United, because these days nobody supports Accra, Hazofok, and Kumasi, Asante, Kotoko. We've all become British and Spaniards. It could be Barcelona. It could be uh, Liverpool. It could be Aston Villa. <laughs> What's your passion? If you can sit through a football game 
for three hours and watch another one for three hours and not feel bored that's your passion for some people their passion is politics they can eat politics drinks politics swallow politics roast politics cook politics saute politics grill politics barbecue politics eat politics and never be tired that's their passion if that is what you do that's your passion but the question you have to ask is this passion i have does it help me to build the tower i want to build for 2021 some people's passion is social media postings every time they're posting something posting something they eat something they post it they smile smile post it it's a passion you do it and do it and you never get tired but is it helping you to build the tower you want to build you have passion for it but is it helping you if you do what i call an energy audit you will find out what you are using your energies or your passion for and you may find out that in 2021 you were so passionate and so energetic but it didn't give you anything you cheered people who are earning 100 million dollars for playing football you cheered people who are earning 20 million pounds for playing football you cheered people who are achieving something you cheered somebody to look to win an election but you didn't achieve anything why because your energy was not focused in the right direction if you're going to build it you must know what you want to build and you must intend to build it and the way to intend to do it is to be intense with your passion with your actions third step third step i must count the cost for doing it you must know what you want to do you must intend to do it and you must count the cost for it everything worth having has a price tag on it this is not something new you know it already the most precious thing that god gave to us is our salvation through christ and it's free but salvation came at a cost it caused the precious blood of the lord jesus christ so the precious salvation was bought with the precious blood everything worth anything costs something following jesus is the best journey in the world but it's going to cost you taking up your cross and following him in the same way everything we want to achieve has a price tag everything you want to achieve has a price tag during this christmas i know that most of you uh, christmas did some shopping but one of the refrains that most traders this Christmas, and I think they say it almost every Christmas, the refrain of most traders is that people are moving, but they are not buying. The city of Accra was full of people in the markets and in the shops. The roads were choked with vehicular traffic, but no sales. How can people be moving? and going around shops and no sales the shop owners were complaining and what they said is people come to the shop they examine an item for a very long time and when they are told the price of the item they will say in Ghanaian english i am going to come they knew what they wanted they went close to it but they didn't have what it required to get it so they said i am going to come and many times in life we know what we want we go close to it we are passionate about it but when we are told what it will take us to achieve it we say i am going to come so if you know what you want you have intended you want to get it you have to know how much it costs and to do that you have to assess if you have what is needed. 
Do you have what it takes to build that tower? Do you have it? Do you have the qualification for it? Do you have the education for it? Do you have the relationships for it? Do you have the uh, finance for it? Do you have it? Do an assessment. You don't do an assessment so that you decide not to pursue the dream. No, 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 no. You don't say, oh, I wanted to achieve this, but I looked at myself, I assessed myself, and I said, oh, I can't do it. And then you abandon it. No, 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 no. You have to be like the Ghanaian shopper. I'm going to come. In other words, for now, I don't have it, but I'm going to prepare myself. And the next time I come to this shop, I'll be armed to buy what I saw. So when you do an assessment, you're going to see that there are some things you have, there are some things you don't have, there are some things you, do, you need. And that's why in doing assessment, you have to learn to mobilize for what is needed. I don't have it now, but I'm going to mobilize to have it. When you fall short of resources, you mobilize for more resources. So, if you want to build something, and maybe it may be a business, it may be building a good family life, building a good marriage, building a spiritual life, building a prayer life, or maybe it could be a physical building you need to build. Maybe your own home, maybe a facility for your business, maybe you need to expand your business from one operation to ten operations or five operations. That's what you want to build. But then you realize, I don't have what it takes. But don't just discourage yourself because I don't have what it takes. You have to go and mobilize. Go around and find ways to build capacity to fulfill your vision. Everyone who has achieved anything in life at one point didn't have what it took. It didn't have what it took. The dream is big, but capacity is small. But don't abandon the dream because capacity is small. Mobilize, talk to people, network, learn, develop yourself, and like the Ghanaian, you will go to come. You will come back. So, you know what you want. You are intentional about it. You have done your assessment. Fourth and final thing. Jesus says, after you've done all of that, you must build and complete the building. Building something or anything requires a lot of focus. Requires a lot of hard work. Jesus says, if we don't complete what we started, we will be a laughing stock. Have you ever laughed at someone who failed to achieve something? Have you ever laughed at someone who failed to achieve something? Be honest. You have. And I have. We laugh at the person who started a race very enthusiastically and ended up hopelessly last. Don't we laugh at them? Even after the 50 years, we still laugh at them. I can still remember a gentleman in my middle school who used to run the mile, and he was our champion miler. The mile uh, then in the school field was eight rounds, and he beat everybody in our school until we had a school competition and other people came in and this guy had a very very uh, unique style he goes very slow and opens up speed in the end and in a school it worked for all of us but in other schools it didn't work so there we had our inter-school uh, competition in the middle school and he ran and he was going very slow and we, we were very confident oh yeah this guy would just speed up in the last minute he'll beat everybody before we realized he had been overtaking one round we said, hmm, it's never happened to be. Oh, but he's good. And he was overtaking more than one round. The last minute, he did what he could. 
but the other people too had speed at the end and he was hopelessly last <laughs> hopelessly our champion up to this point today it's been more than probably 50 years or so but I still remember him and laugh Jesus said if you start and you don't finish well people will laugh at you are you ready for people to laugh at you for 50 years no so when you start finish it well we laugh at the boxer who brought so much about winning a fight and got badly beaten and knocked out and years after that we joke about him we laugh at the person who set out from his house dressed to impress and later fell into a gutter don't we laugh at them so one day will somebody laugh at you that oh look at him he said he will make it in 2021 look at what happened oh he said he will build and look at what happened oh he was bragging at it and and look at what happened please 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 save your dignity don't make anybody laugh at you so what you start to build you must finish so the 2021 next year about this time when i say let's check our assignment you come and say this is what i intended to do and it is done so work and keep working we must continue working when things are going well we must continue working when things are hard we must continue working when people encourage us we must continue working when people discourage us we must continue working when we feel on top we must continue working when we feel so low if you want to be fruitful and build that tower you must keep working at it and you must stay on course till the vision becomes a reality next year by this time you would have achieved something substantial something great you will look back and say look what i have achieved look to the level i have come to look to the thing i now have in my hand and it's because you had a clear vision one thing you want to do not 10 not 20 not 50 one thing you were intentional about it you applied your passion to it focused your passion and you stayed on till you completed it that's the message now assignment so everybody get ready if you have a piece of paper pick it with your pen if you don't have and you use your phone or your ipad i'm going to give you an assignment and uh, we will inspect this assignment so first assignment i want you to write this and read it every day for 2021 write this and read it every day for 2021 and this is what you write it's going to be projected for you according to luke chapter 14 verse 28 this is the tower i am building in 2021 and there is a dotted line there and i want you to write what it is if you are not sure what it is you can give it a little time and write it but don't go don't don't go through this day without writing that one thing it could be spiritual it could be marital it could be financial physical mental but one thing not 10 not 20 one thing what one thing do you want to be able to build and testify to the Lord about by the end of next year don't try to build towers don't try to build something that is way beyond your ability the people Jesus spoke to were people who could build the towers he was talking about so you have to build something you can build with a with some effort with some energy with some drive with some focus you can achieve it 
it's within your means to achieve it it's just that you need to arrange resources properly and target it so according to Luke chapter 14 verse 28 this is the tower I am building in 2021 dotted line write it so although I'm giving you an assignment it's your own assignment to yourself second assignment I'm going to give you a prayer topic to pray daily in 2021 from January to December every day you're going to pray this prayer and this is the prayer you pray daily Heavenly Father everybody say Heavenly Father give me the wisdom and resources needed to build the vision you have given me for 2021 that's assignment number two so you write down what it is and you're going to pray for this every day heavenly father give me the wisdom and the resources needed to build the vision you have given me for 2021 and you're going to use this assignment to become fruitful in 2021 every one of us will bear fruit there will be something you will hold in your hand next year about this time and say look what the lord has done with my life this is what i set myself to do and see what god has done every one of you will have a testimony covid or no covid vaccine or no vaccine you are going to achieve this we cannot predict everything that will happen in the world, but we predict what we will do with our lives, with our time, with our energy, with our vision, with our purpose. So next year by this time, you will not complain about how hard the world has been. You would glorify God for what he has done in your life. And instead of people laughing at you, you will be laughing and thanking God for what he has done for you. Lift up your right hand, everybody, and say with me, Heavenly Father, from today, I determine to build for your glory. And I ask you, Lord, give me the wisdom and the resources needed to build the vision that you have given me for 2021. I declare, Lord, I will return with my testimony, with my tower, with what I have built, and I will give you glory for it, and all the world will rejoice with me because of what you have done with me and through me, in Jesus' name, amen, and amen, and everybody shout, I will make it, I will make it in 2021 i will build it i will achieve it and god will be glorified in jesus name give yourself a clap offering everybody <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah amen, and amen hello sunday this is mr beautiful <laughs> Thank you.